Hello, Spring Forward, and happy Wednesday. I hope this video finds you well and uh, your children are off to a good start to our school year. Um, it's been pretty exciting as I've gotten around to buildings, and I'm really happy to see a lot of the learning and a lot of the engagement that has been going on. I have a few announcements to make, and then I just want to unpack one more section or one more piece of our mission and vision project that we're going to be sharing over the next several weeks. Uh, first, some announcements. Uh, on September 9th, Governor Wolf did announce a universal free school breakfast program program for the entire 22-23 school year. That's going to begin on October 1st and all students are eligible uh, for this free breakfast at school program. Uh, this new program does not affect our school lunches. Uh, free and reduced lunch status will continue to depend on individual family eligibility. So if you have questions, reach out, uh, but please take advantage of those options if you can. I'm really looking forward to this year's homecoming celebration. As long as we're talking about celebration, Spring Ford students are going to continue a long-standing tradition of parading through the streets of downtown Warriors Ford starting at noon on Saturday, October 22nd. Uh, we're excited to announce that the parade ends with our annual um, free community picnic that is provided by our own SFEA, Spring Ford Educators Association. Uh, finally, uh, fellow um, join fellow Ram fans as Spring Ford Area High School's football team takes on Norristown uh, at 2 p.m. in Coach McNally Stadium. Have an opportunity to see our cheerleaders, check out our homecoming court, and of course, uh, our football team, and let's cheer them on to a victory. Lastly, while we're talking about football, as far as the announcements are concerned, anyway, as long as we're talking about football, I do want to remind our community members who are 60 years of age or older that they qualify for a free gold card. You get a free gold card. Members receive free general admission to all regular season home games, home athletic events. And this excludes playoffs, um, theatrical productions, musical events, all hosted by Springford Area School District. You can visit the Springford website for more information on that fantastic opportunity. So take advantage of that if you are eligible, if you can. Um, lastly, uh, I just want to, again, continue to have this be part of our regular conversation each week. Uh, let's talk about our, our, our vision. Um, Springford Area School District is committed to empowering students to follow individual and diverse educational pathways, preparing them for success in local and global communities. So I think we need to start talking about what that means. We're going to take pieces of that. And for me, the first piece to really talk about is what does empowering students mean? Uh, in my mind, it means building capacity. It means allowing students, we talk a lot about this uh, educational team, right? This idea that, um, that the, the school and the family work together to do what's best for the child. And oftentimes, certainly in the younger ages, as they get older, we tend to forget that the child should be part of that. So the child, as they begin to start thinking about what they're doing, what they want to do, where they want to go, we want to give them some um, some authority over themselves to be able to make some decisions that they can start to move in the direction that they their, that their interests might align with. Obviously, our responsibility is to prepare them as much as we can, help them identify their strengths, their areas of strength, their areas where um, they can align closely with whatever they're thinking they may want to do. And by empowering them to take advantage of those opportunities, we're giving them some authority and some autonomy uh, to be part of the decision-making process and really help them uh, grow and develop into where they think they want to go and also you know to make some mistakes and and to kind of learn and grow and develop some of those soft skills those 21st century skills that we've been talking about which we'll talk about those a little bit more in the future so as we consider the vision and as a reminder the vision is the ideal where we want to be when our students leave spring forward we want them to be to have been empowered to be able to make decisions and be able to take charge of their educational pathway. And there's a process to get there. So that's the first piece. We'll talk more about educational pathways and local and global communities and things like that. But at least for this first part, I just want to say that we are, we are committed to helping your students grow um, and mature uh, and, and making their decisions uh, how that are going to affect their futures. And certainly you and, uh, and the schools are a big part of that process as well. That's all I have for this week. Uh, I wish you the greatest of weeks. Uh, we'll get to do this again next Wednesday. In the meantime, thanks again. Appreciate you tuning in. Have a great day. And maybe we'll see you at the game Friday night, the football game Friday night, or any of the other athletic events that are happening. I think I'm going to leave here and head over to girls' tennis. Uh, but I'm really excited uh, for all the opportunities that are happening. Have a great day. Thanks. And we'll see you next week.